Hello. Hi, little kitty. Are you here to do Hi. a recap for us? Oh, a I'm not a vampire. Perhaps a recap. Oh. Potentially. Oh. I love it. Just I'm not a vampire. Haha. Ha, come help me. <laughs> that feels like a lie, kitty. Yeah. 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 So far, of all the tabaxis we've met, most of them are vampires. So mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. weird. It wasn't like that when he when he left initially. So that's. <laughs> I mean, Crazy. you go away for 15 years, things change. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, as they say, kids nowadays. Oh, kid. Kid, kiddies nowadays. nowadays. <laughs> mm, mixing up with the wrong crowds. <laughs> yeah, damn kids. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Get out of my mountain. <laughs> Get out of my lair. <laughs> I feel I feel bad for like the the two or three tabaxi kids that ran into like this strange cave that had this big vampire outcrop in there, and they're like, "Hey, mm-hmm. a gift!" And then they swarm, and now there's vampires. Like somebody was like, "Do you want the dark gift?" And they were like, "Gifts." Yeah, right. gifts. Is that candy? Not, that's not what we meant. <laughs> Put your ankle right in this spot, ah, uh, right here, and boop. Look at that. You got a cool tattoo. They call it a snake bite. Mm. <laughs> um, all right. Well, we're heading into almost the last episode of the season. So do we want to take a quick check-in of, like, how everybody's doing after the last fight? So you guys, uh, I mean, we can do our recap first. Want to do that? Let's do that. Sure. Okay. Sure. Let's do our intro proper, and then we'll dive into how everyone's, um, yeah. how close everyone is to death. Mm-hmm. Um, so welcome back, folks. This is Darkness and Dragons. We're a 5e live stream for mature audiences. And if this is your first time with us, welcome. Come and join us in the Twitch channel where we will be chatting with you and answering all your questions during the game. Uh, with that out of the way, uh, I am your Dungeon Master and with me as always is... Me, hey, Laura. And I am playing uh, Verity slash Ryan, the Azamar Rogue. <laughs> I, you had so many questions throughout reading that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> me, Luna, who's playing Brilliant, our tiefling warlock. Uh, me, Michael, playing Ariana, the happy-go-lucky necro druid. Um, me, Bree, <laughs> who's playing Lenore, our Shadokai cleric. And me, Ian, who is playing Tavi, the Tabaxi bard. So, how about we find out what happened last week on Darkness and Dragons before we do a full-on check-in? So, last week on Darkness and Dragons, the party made their way into the Tabaxi Mountains at the Silver Peak and struggled with the morality of killing baby kitten vampires. When the party arrived at the Silver Peak, they found it dark and covered in mists. The team quickly discovered that the Silver Peak has been overrun by vampiric mists and vampire-turned-tabaxis. After defeating the welcome party of baby vamps, the group chased them out around in their mists into wherever their home base is. And that's where we are. Very easy, very quick. And how are we all doing today? Yeah, so, I mean, this season has taken us quite a ways. Um, you you ended slavery, so that's super. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, last game, you got attacked by vampires who slowly uh, leached off your ability to heal to full, um, which I think leaves most of you sitting at anywhere between 50 and um, <clears throat> 25 max HP at level 10. So that's cool. Let's not talk about Hey, hey. Before. I'm on 60, okay, it's fine. It's almost like you can tell who was jumping in the middle of the battle <laughs> trend and who was like, mm, those those kids are too bitey for me. Don't forget <laughs> the ones who get confused and think that they should be helping the other tabaxis that are around. It was very convincing. Yeah, that's right. The ones with more HP are the ones that were more than willing to murder the children. That's true. <laughs> I only have two points lesser than you, and I tried to help the child, so... <laughs> I was tricked by my own... Well, I can't... they're not even my own kind at these points, so I don't... They look kind of like your kind, though. They still have the pointy teeth. That's not really different. They don't look different, they just can become bats now. And that's also kind of weird. I'm jealous of it a little bit, but I mean... I'm, I'm already pretty good with who I am. Mm-hmm. Do the, do the cats get confused and want to eat the bats? Oh, Does I hope so. That, that, <laughs> Maybe. I would hope. Cause like, I, when I, they're in cat form, are they like, hmm, Maybe. Because deep down, they're still tabaxi. At least the spirits that are now vampiric. I believe they're the same, maybe not so unsoul, 
yeah, does anyone want to share kind of how their character is doing emotionally in this moment as we prepare to uh, make the final assault on a vampire lair together? Do they, they, do they have, they don't have blood like in their bodies, right? Vampires? Because they're vampires. Uh, yeah. I think, I, think they have have blood. I think that's some sort. It's not like circulating because yeah. they're undead. Yeah. I think it's I guess, stagnant. I think, well, I guess it would have to go somewhere. The blood would have to go somewhere, right? Because yeah, they're yeah. drinking no it. No one's taking it and putting it somewhere else. That's what you're okay. asking. It goes through the kidneys into the bladder. <laughs> okay. Well, um, if there if there's less blood, Lenore is not as keen and less happy. But if there's like more blood, then she's probably feeling really great. Extra blood for drawing. Yeah. It's like oil oil paints at this point, and instead of like a like watercolor because it's more coagulated. I would think. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> it comes out like jelly. <laughs> All right. How's How's it's Verity doing with all of this stuff? being uh, separated and uh, broken up with our son and now in the mountains killing babies. Um, the killing is a nice distraction, actually. <laughs> like, I know that sounds really bad, doesn't it? Um, no, she's, I mean, like, she's enjoying it. This is probably the most... <laughs> oh my God, what, what happened to my character? I don't know when this happened, okay? Like, I started off as a really normal person. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's you nice to not to have something else to focus on. You know, and if that's killing cat vampire children, then it's killing cat vampire children. I mean, know? there are less healthy coping mechanisms than that. Is right? there? I'm trying to like, think of one. Is there? <laughs> willingly being murdered by hags is probably less, less healthy. <laughs> that's true. Look, and you did do they, that. They had some really convincing arguments <laughs> you weren't there so i think like can we just assume that verity is making progress <laughs> progress we'll call it that progress there you go uh how is brilliant doing you, trying to make up with costs after everything that went hap that um happened but you know uphill battle um yeah that, that's always going to be a little bit of a struggle bus but yeah she's She's not doing well with the whole um, murdering children, so <laughs> she, you know, you know, sh she'll have a cry after this whole ordeal is over, like I mean, usual. Let's, let's point out, you're you're having a hard time emotionally doing it. You are doing very, very well, like stats wise, which is even more alarming to her. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's helpful <laughs> in the case. But yeah, no, that's where she's at, I think, and she's very mad at. The gods, I guess, because poor Tabby is going to be one of the few Tabaxi's left if they got everyone vampirized. So, oops. oops. Uh, gods, how dare you? <laughs> there are still some nomadic ones, but that's not really frequently talked about. So, fingers crossed that there's still chances. Fingers crossed. I don't know. Melissa's been... <laughs> Been mean and a, a, a jerk and like, a rolling, head. Out, rolling out the genocide. Here for it. I'm like... here. I'm here for it. But also, mm, who knows? And uh, Ariana, finish us off. How's Ariana doing with all this stuff? Um, you know, like <laughs> what Natalie Thorne probably said it best. And uh, I'm torn. Um, nothing's right. I'm torn. Um, you know, she's, she still doesn't quite understand why she's here. Mm -hmm. So there is a little bit of confusion for sure. But, um, yeah, she's just very conflicted, got a lot on her mind. And like the last thing she really wants to do right now is deal with vampiric children. But hey, this is the deck she was Dealt, so. I mean, Koss keeps refusing to go and deal with Vecna, so I mean, that seems like much more of a priority for Ariana right now. I know. Yeah, she's at the <laughs> end of her rope, and she's just like, well, I guess the, you know, the ruler of one of the largest empires in the world will just be miserable, and who knows how that's going to manifest. It's almost like a character who's known as Koss the Betrayer can't really be trusted well, see, that's the thing. You would have thought he would have betrayed what he wanted to do and just done the better thing. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, you know, she's going to do what she wants to do. Yep. 
All right. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> that sounds great. That sounds like a great place to start our one to last episode of the season, doesn't it? All right. Um, so let's dive in uh, to our very first scene of the day. So, you follow the wisps of the two vampire you slew northwards. With your horses, you're able to keep up, but just barely. As a storm begins to kick up, you start to lose sight, but then you notice an old, decrepit church appear on the horizon. It looks like it's over a hundred years old, and the fencing that once surrounded the grounds has decomposed into almost nothing. The church itself is only two stories tall, and a small bell tower atop it. it gravestones litter the churchyard, but only a few of the names are still legible. As you watch the wisps return home, they seem to travel downwards, suggesting there might be catacombs below. There's your there's your pitch. Does does Tabby know that did he know that there was a like a church out here? I feel like that would have been something that would have been discovered at least yeah, once. Yeah, like this is more ruins than anything. Like it was definitely yeah. one of those things that people like kind of stay in. People like take bits of wood off of the fencing and use it for fires. Like it's not a place you set up but yeah right okay so we kind of avoided these place uh it's but, also uh, real spooky yeah it's also real spooky <laughs> you look in the windows and there's like one of those fake ghosts that wave around and see there's one <laughs> Ugh. did you ever have to like come in here as a child as a dare you know like like ooh, who can spend the most time in the weird uh no you weren't that kind of kid I, I I didn't want to go near this place. I, I made a point to not even acknowledge it, and luckily I didn't have to. And now I have to go into it as an adult with no experience of being inside this building. I bet a lot of teenagers made out in here, and there were a lot of girls that were like, oh, but it's too scary. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely those vibes. Right. I think yeah, we're, learning interesting. A, we're learning a lot about either Brie or Lenore right now. <laughs> or just like every <laughs> horror movie ever, I mean, where there's I mean, like an abandon. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, a, a place that's surrounded with so much death has ushered forth so much life. It is Unlife. kind of beautiful. You know? It's full uh, circle. Unlife. Mm -hmm. This isn't the same as normal life. I don't... Well, I, I guess it depends where you come from, really. Because, you know, in Shadowfell, like, pretty much half of the population are vampires. They have, that's... like, their own economy. I mean, it's not great. I don't want to experience vampires in the Shadowfell, let alone here. Mm. Yeah, it's, you know, it's all relative, I guess. Neither here nor there, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna bring my horse over to a tree nearby, and I'm gonna uh, tie it up to the side and point our way over to the thing and say we have to go in. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go around back to see if there's any openings or anything like that. Maybe a like a cellar door, or a storm door, or something like that. Um, and I'm going to just walk out around the back. Sure. Um, the sun is beginning to set. You guys have probably another hour of daylight, um, and you probably have about an hour until those vampires you slew wake up again, based on travel times. Um, so if you guys want to look around for other information, we can do that. So we'll start with Tabby. Give me a uh, perception roll. Let's see if you can find any, uh, any other entrances. Oh, starting off strong. Uh, 27. Yeah, that's that's good. That's pretty strong. Um, okay, let's see how many find. There's really only two entrances you think you can make do with. Obviously, there's the main entrance. Um, it's actually still cracked open a little bit, so you can actually kind of not see inside, but it, it you know the door's open and unlocked. Um, and then around to the side, part of the building has collapsed, and it looks like it's overgrown with um, vines that are coming up out of the ground. Um, so you'd have to climb up the vines a little bit, but you could kind of use those to hop inside as well. Oh, and that's up to uh, up to the second floor? Yeah, yeah. And that's sort of, um, like I said, like crumbling outside, so you'd kind of just like land on a bit of roofing there. Um, as you're looking in that area, it becomes really clear that this place is not standing very well at all um like you should probably be pretty careful about what you do in here because it is likely to start falling at any moment i uh i 
rock walk back around to everybody and say this place is a condemned building i don't see any caution tape anywhere but whoever was here to, to check it out probably just turned into a vampire as well but be careful uh, there's also a vines uh, over a collapsed part in the back we can go into on the second floor if you all want to do that but there's probably more around here to look through too yeah, anyone else want to do something to try to get some more information before you barge on in? Can I do like a, a history check and mm -hmm. see uh, what I might know about vampire lives and like where they usually try to hang and that kind of thing? Yeah, okay. All right. I'll give you a uh, history or religion, okay. whichever you like. I uh, don't think it matters because I rolled a three. Um, so seven. Uh, cool. Um, so you start looking around to see if you can get any sign of, like, where the vampires are in this place, but you get super, mm -hmm. super excited, um, because this is a temple that was for the Raven Queen. Like, <gasps> like it was for her, guys! Yeah. And you just, it's, you just can't really get past cool. it. I bet so many people made out in here. <laughs> it's really exciting. You find like a, I don't know, is some kind of shape that's reminiscent, like I guess a raven carving, maybe? I don't know. There's like old the blood sigils on them. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yes, look at that sigil. Oh my gosh, look at that old blood. <laughs> Somebody died in here and their soul was like saved by the raven queen. How exciting is that? Well, if there's any place to commune, this would be the place to do it. That's, I had no idea it's a raven queen place. That's too, that's mm -hmm. too coincidental. I love that. Yeah. Just like we you know, I, I don't. I don't think she really like loves vampires, though. In that, like, they trap the souls. You're correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's actually yeah. It's sort of like not the Raven Queen's thing. Like when you die, you should no. die. Yeah. Stop like just lingering. Yeah. It's okay to move on. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we can help them. Yeah. And then we can add blood to these walls. How exciting! You can, yeah. be, you can be part of history. I believe yeah, you get to there's enough you get to add your first think. blood to a Raven Queen. I think uh, there's enough blood here. I think you know. I think it looks lovely as it is. No, and look, you'll feel it when you when you kill here. You'll feel it. It's fine. It'll come to you. There's probably even an altar on the inside where any sort of sacrifice <gasps> would have been made. So, and who knows? That might have been where people. That's. It's kind of weird to think about people getting stabbed through their stomach or however sacrifices will be done and then people not knowing that and like going behind there to make out and doing more than that like that's kind of weird is it though some people would probably be really into it all right does anybody else have anything they want to do to prepare for this any information they want to try to gather all right i'm gonna go around back then and go start climbing the vines Who's coming with me to climb the vines? I'm climbing the vines. Sure. Yeah. Climb the vines. I'm, I'm going. I'm pretty acrobatic. <laughs> All right. You guys are just diving right in. I appreciate that. Uh, acrobatics roll, or sorry, uh, athletics? Is it? Yeah. What would we climbing? say the, the shadow situation is in this area? What a great question. I would describe it as eerie. Uh, mm -hmm. as you, uh, you know, I won't tell you exactly what you see inside, but it's pretty dark until you get in. So let's get everyone's athletics and then we'll see how that goes. Well, if it's shadowy enough, I can fly. Okay. Oh, would we, would we be climbing the back side of the, the church? If it's like an hour left of daylight, then it's probably... Sure. If you want to, I'll let it happen. That sounds pretty cool. Awesome. I'll beat you up to the top. Why did you just cheat like that? That's oh, fine. And I only got a nine athletics. Okay. That's not great. It's slippery. It's snowy. I don't know. I got a seven. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. What else we got? Is there any way to climb this that involves acrobatics instead? Can I take like a different perspective on this? And she flips up. Gotta be like <laughs> sure, sure. I'll let that happen if you want to be yeah. like a more of a flippy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you're that, grabbing that's... on and you're doing like a like a flip de loop, like you're yes. playing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real fancy ass climbing, that sure. kind of climbing. Sure. Because it's like up normal up people climbing, like with the silks, that's you know, like the pink routine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very decrepit building. Be very careful. Um, Lenore like 
has these shadowy like raven wings that sprout out of her back and she just kind of like flies up. 29. Okay. Uh, Ariana, how are you doing? Yeah? Yeah. Are you... I just realized that I wasn't actually on mute. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to have like Lenore carry you up or like roll or do you just want to go in the front door? I don't know. No, I'm just going to go in the front door. <laughs> this is like you guys really need to talk through your plans before you approach the situations. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's fine. So, um, Brilliant and Tabby. Oh, like we did. <laughs> um, actually, I'm going to say you guys don't actually manage to make it up. It's too yeah. cold and... Uh, you know your your little your little paws aren't grabbing quite right. Yeah, and, and I don't want my my claws to tear the vines when I'm climbing. So. Yeah, so you two kind of just slide back down to the ground. Probably with Ariana, maybe go in the front. Verity, I'm defeated. Verity and Lenore just float up like freaking angels. <laughs> Hearing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll describe kind of what you guys see as you uh, you enter the church. So, as you enter inside, the smell of the damp wood, mildew, and dust begins to overtake you. The door that you open seems almost too loud in this peaceful darkness. It's almost encompassing. You can't see through it at all, except for a small, flickering light near the front of the room. So, Verity and Lenore, you guys are on, like, kind of, like, the... If you've seen, like, those churches where they have, like, the area where the, they can play and stuff at the top... You've got almost like a like a box seat kind of view. You can get a little closer than the others without maybe giving away that you're here. Um, so so there are there we can see people in there. There's a light. A light. Oh, vampires are really light. But like it's so today. small, like like a flickering little candle wick. <laughs> Blow the candle and start singing happy birthday. Hey. Well, um, I wish come true. Does <laughs> Verity blow it out and is she dead now? <laughs> that's like, so that's, sweet of you. That's the candle of, of Lenore's life. You just blew at her existence. I oh, will. <laughs> um, so yeah, you guys. Is, is it a suspicious candle? It's just. <laughs> It's, can it's, we roll inside on the candle? You can't roll inside on the candle. I'm you very can roll perception. What, what about history? They, yeah. What are the candle's intentions in this room? But you know what? I'll let you roll whatever you want about this candle. Let's find out. Can I intimidate like the candle? To roll, let me know what you roll. What you're told and what are you so, using? It's so scared. You intimidate it so well that it just snuffs out. <laughs> <laughs> um... Um, I got a 16 on my candle roll. Uh, it depends. I, like, Arcana, is it like a magic candle? Is it just a regular candle? What a great question. What's it is what's a this normal candle deal. It is a normal, white, thin, tall candle. Okay. And like one of those no ones you can see at like a, like a church service where they're really, really tall and kind of slender. Mm -hmm. Cheap it wax. No magical. It's not soy wax. Oh, cheap! Wow, mm -hmm. very cheap. Tabaxi's really aren't putting many offerings up to this. The Raven Queen, are they? Um, it looks like a candle, Verity. It's what I've discovered. What do you think? I too think it looks like a candle. Do, do you want? You want to blow it out, don't you? I do want to blow it out. I really, really, really do. Do it. Do it. Okay, I'm gonna creep up to the candle and blow it out. Are, are you guys all creeping towards the candlelight? <laughs> I mean, I said I was walking towards it, so... Yeah, all right. So you're all sort of just, like, collecting yourselves around the candle. So there's, like, people from above and from behind coming up closer. Um like moths. Who has and... the highest passive perception? Uh, it might be me. 17. I think mine's 19. I got an 8. <laughs> I'm uh, 16. Uh... So is Tabby's 19? Okay. Um, as you all come closer, Tabby is the first one who kind of comes 
to awareness of this, but you all start picking out features of this person. It's a woman wearing um, some dark blue, almost black robes with the hood pulled up. Um, she's sitting in the front pew of the church and her hands are folded together and she's holding the candle between them. But as you get closer, you notice that the wax from the candle is dripping down onto her fur where she holds the candle. So her hands are just pooled with drying candle wax. <laughs> as you come close enough, she turns and looks up towards you. Tabby, you know who this is. Are there other candles that I can see like outlines of that aren't lit nearby? Yeah, it's like kind um, of like a like a service that never got finished kind of situation. Cool. I immediately just snap my fingers to the light any any candles that are nearby uh, to have more light to press and digitate stuff. Very cool. Uh, the light swirls around the room as every candle in the area is lit, and you all see uh, a tabaxi woman. Uh, Tabby, do you want to describe what she looks like? Is this, uh, I'm not exactly sure who this is yet. Are you, I, there's like two or three people I could think it could be. This is Opal. This is Opal? So you almost see the spinning image of, of Sapphire, uh, except uh, Opal is probably a little bit wider set shoulders, uh, maybe a little bit longer hair and the ears, maybe more fluff, uh, where Opal, um, where Sapphire was a lot more, more sleek at this point. Opal's probably very, very like scruffy. Probably has the, more of the sunken eyes you'd see in older cats. Uh, probably a lot of the eye gunk and all that. But uh, same thing as uh, as a uh, sapphire, the silverish, bluish coat of a uh, of a uh, Russian blue um, that reflects the orange light almost ominously, like it's a haunting glow around the back of her. Yeah, and you guys all pretty quickly clue into this, like. Sapphire sister is that one that that girl that Tabby liked and 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 this is definitely looks like Sapphire. Uh, is she alive though, or is she? Yeah, she turned up towards you, looking at you. Okay. Um, she looks between you all, and she sort of focuses her. Uh, well, no, um, she just kind of looks between you all. Oh, Opal. It's a. Uh... I, I'm like gonna uncover a mask I'm not wearing, and I'm like, um, I don't have anything that, that's covering my face, but it, it's it's me, it's Tabby. Uh, are, are you okay? Hi, hello. Um, <laughs> are, are you okay? Um, let's get some insights going here. Yes, please. Uh, 16. Seventeen. Eighteen. Wow, okay. We did. Ariana Verity, what do you guys got? <laughs> Ariana's like, I don't even have eyes anymore. I don't know what you're talking about. Nope. <laughs> Ten. Ten? All right, cool. Um, so, Opal looks... The first impression you have is that she looks very strong, very physically able. Underneath the robe that she's wearing, she's wearing chainmail, and you can see that she has a bloodied shield and a great axe sitting beside her on the bench. Uh, and they are both also bloodied. She seems a little out of it, unfocused, obviously. Uh, she turns back towards her candle and just kind of watches the flame continue to flicker. I'm going to change its color. Ooh, what color? Uh, I change it to uh, purple. And then the ones around her. Uh, if I'm if I'm going to go on a little bit uh, overzealous extraness on the presentation, the, the ones around her are going to probably be highlighted blues with maybe the further away going green. But, yeah. I feel like I want to seduce this woman. <laughs> I'm just trying to get her attention. <laughs> uh, her eyes do indeed seem to kind of blink as she comes to realization. And all of a sudden, she lets go of the candle, and it falls to the ground and extinguishes. And as it does, so do all the other candles in the room. Like, you guys are just suddenly in oppressive darkness. Casting light <laughs> the second it gets dark. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> all right, really, you cast light? Yes, it's a cantrip, yay. Cool. Um... Everybody, please give me an initiative roll. 
14. Also 14. 14A. 23. Okay. 17. Mm-hmm. Nine. All right. And uh, I forgot to ask Verity, did you do you remember how much your max HP was after the last game? Forty something. Okay. Not much. Not much. Let's... Forty-three, I think. Forty-three, it is. Yeah. So it is spoken. So let it be. Where are Koss and Sapphire? Are they with the gnomes? Um. So. Um. Sapphire did indeed stay behind with the gnomes, who are back <sighs> trying to basically make sure that everything's clear in Silver Peaks and get rid of, you know, anything they can find there and save the less of the people. Um. We are going to say Koss is here. So she'll be doing her fa her share, but you know. Cool. So awesome. Okay, the lights flicker back into existence thanks to Brilia, uh, and as they do, Tabby, you see Opal charge at you. Ooh, she's not doing great though. Uh, eighteen. Uh, that does hit. Cool. She is going to slam you with her great axe. It's not super bad. It's only 10 damage. Oh, that's still a lot of my health. And as her great axe connects with you, you feel like a thundering echo through the building. Ow! Ow! Eh. I look around like, what is going? What is this? This is the worst. And my ears are very are ringing, so I'm yelling more than I should. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. So that happened. Uh, Verity, it's your turn. Remember, you guys can also decide to use your. I'll let you lose like bonus actions and stuff to learn more about the room and what's going on as well if you guys want to do that. Um, I'm going to try and stab her. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, why? Okay, 2d8 for cold damage. <laughs> I remembered this time. Uh, help me, Ellie, help me. Help me, Ellie. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, 17 to hit. Against her AC? Yeah. Nope. Chainmail and Dexterous, thank you. You're like, mm, that's why I like her. Lenore. Oh, uh, sorry, do you want to use your bonus action to get any more information? Sure. <laughs> um, I don't know, in insight on the room? I yeah? Sure, you want to see if there's, uh, well, no, I guess perception on the room then. Perception? See if you can sure. Use. Sure. 17. Um, well, the area towards where you guys came in, there is just a couple of, um, pillars that are still holding that bit of the top, top floor up. If you wanted to, you know, smash those, um, a lot of the building we cave in. It's a shame we're in the building. It is, <laughs> but you could potentially do it with some kind of distance ability and be far enough back. Lenore, over to you. Um, are there any, can I see any other people or like doorways or like little hatches or anything where I think other creatures might come from in this space? Sure, so towards the center, actually pretty much exactly in the center of the room, there's uh, a stairwell that's going down. You can't see down it. Well, actually, no, you guys are at the front now. So if you turn around, there's a stairwell right in the center and that leads down towards the catacombs. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Guardian of Faith mm -hmm. right uh, over that stairwell. Mm -hmm. Um, so it lasts for eight hours, and it appears as like this big shadowy raven, um, spectral creature, and 
anything, any creature that moves within 10 feet of that guardian is going to have to succeed on a saving throw or take 20 radiant damage. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Half as, half as much on a successful save. So they're going to take at least 10 radiant damage. Very nice. All right. So you guys know no one else is coming to help. At oh, least sorry to clarify. Can... It's uh, any creature that's hostile. So we can move through it. Good to know. Yes. That's important. <laughs> All right. So that was your spell. Yes. Anything else you want to do with your turn? Uh, you already used my bonus action to look around. So, uh, no. Okay. Just stay back. Uh, Brilli and Tabby, you guys have the same order. So who wants to go first? Do you want me to go first? Cool. Um, the insight roll that we did, was that to see Opal for like how her state currently, or was that to... Because I want to see if, if she's fully... If you want to roll she... again to see if you can get a sense of what's going on in her head, like, more than... Yeah. Yeah, do again. Let's yeah. see if you can get a better yeah. roll. Please, that'd be wonderful. That is exactly what I was looking for. That's a 21. Really cool. All right. Yes. Um, there is a... You are very familiar with Opal's eyes. Like, they're the same as the last time you knew her. And there's an emptiness to them as you look into them. But, but there's, there's also some kind of awareness inside, if that makes sense. So it's If anyone's like... ever seen the, the movie, um... Oh, shoot, what's it called? Oh, no. I can't remember. Die Hard? I, I appreciate that you tried Die Hard, because 90% of the time it's Die Hard. No, the one about the, um, the, the black guy who comes home to meet his, like white girlfriend's family and it's like a horror movie get out, oh, get, out. get out yeah it's just that so if without giving away the end of get out it's got that kind of feel to it if you know what i mean <laughs> okay um have yet to see get out you should see get out it's great <laughs> so i'm gonna this is very kind of bullshit mechanics as well um i want to try to roll persuasion to get her to come to her senses because it doesn't it doesn't seem like she's like under some sort of vampiric control or is vampiric she doesn't look vampiric right nope she's she very like very tabaxi okay uh i'm gonna grab her shoulders and just go opal as loud as i can and just like 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 jostle and like look her in the eyes without doing anything else like you hurt my shoulder it hurt a lot <laughs> okay <laughs> uh would you rather i'm gonna roll persuasion for that yeah as my yeah. action uh, Did we that's... say Brilia is helping in that endeavor, and can I use that as my turn as well to give advantage? Sure. Oh, hopefully I get a better roll than that then. Thank you. That was much better. Uh, that is a 27 on that. Very nice. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm 26. Numbers. 26. Okay. Do we'll wait to her turn to see how that all plays out. Uh, Brilia, any information you want to roll for? Nope. I used my turn trying to help Tabby shake her out Fair of it. Fair enough. Uh, and last but not least, Ariana. Hey, does she... Okay, so I have two questions here, and I don't mm -hmm. know if they can both be answered. Uh, the first is, does she look hostile towards us? Yes. Uh, okay, roll of perception. Okay, and I think throughout that, I also want to know if she's considered undead. Okay, all right. I'll give you that. I'll okay. give you that. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Perception? Yep. Oof. It's a good thing I rolled high. Uh, <laughs> 16. Um, she is not undead. She is very much Wonderful. alive. Wonderful. Uh, and, and she is... Yep. Yeah. Uh, and you can see that while she did hit Tabby first, it seems like it's because he was closest. She mm -hmm. actually seems to be more interested in coming after you. Mm -hmm. Me? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, in in that case, uh, I'm going to yell Run out. Run and hide. Um, no, I'm going to yell out, "Be gone, vile beast!" And I'm going to cast uh, Enervation, and I'm going to need her to do a Dexterity saving throw for me. All right. Pretty please. Your Dex is not great. Uh, yeah, nine. Woohoo! All right, so um, inky darkness reaches out from my hands, touching the creature that I can see within range to drain its life. Oh, 
She will take. Let's see, one. Tommy's like, guys, this is. I, I kind of love her, guys. Guys! <laughs> All right. And 12. So she'll take 12 necrotic damage. Okay. Um, and I get back four. Uh, 12, that's six. Oh, that's right. Um, you guys did have time that you could have healed yourself, but uh, uh, I don't we know didn't. if you did. <laughs> no, we would have said if we did or not. Yep. <laughs> so I need to heal because I was down to like three. Okay. And then, yeah, I'm going to try to hide and be like, guys, she's, she's after me. She's after me. I don't know what I did to piss her off, but she's after me. <laughs> All uh, right. And that's it. That's it for me. I'm gonna like try to run. All right, like, and then you're gonna boot away. it to the other end of the thing. You're far enough I'm... away from her at this point. You can still just run if you want. Mm -hmm. like... Yeah, I'm a booting. Cool. Um. Okay. Back at the top of the order. So that's uh. That's Opal. Opal. Oh, what's she gonna do? She is going to decide to attack. She's going to try to make her way towards Ariana, but she also seems to really want Verity. So I think she's going to give maybe a couple slashes to Verity. That seems like a thing she do. Uh, again, she rolled her second one, so that sucks. Uh, but the other is a 21, which I imagine hits. She leave our range to do that? No. Okay. Sadly, no. We were all like uh, up on checking, her, right? We're we were checking. all like we were yeah. all like looking right at the candle, like, ooh, flame. Yeah. Ooh, fire's burning. Uh 21 hits though, right, Verity? Mm hmm Okay. Oh, she does min damage. Uh so six uh damage plus plus one thunder. <laughs> She is the lamest paladin ever. <laughs> maybe, maybe Tabby got through to her. <laughs> Thank you for answering that. That was going to be my turn, was to work out if she was a paladin. But... There you go. <laughs> um, that's her. She's just kind of, she just like turns towards Verity and starts trying to swipe at her. But Verity's all acrobatic as shit and is like, what's up, bitch? Your turn hey. now. Me? Mm-hmm. I'm going to try and stab her again. Okay. Uh, nope. <laughs> Continue on. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else you want to look for? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up is Lenore. Um, I kind of want to step in front of her and try and block her from moving and um I want to kind of use I want to use word of radiance but I'd also kind of like to use a persuasion -y mm -hmm. kind of role as well if you'll allow me okay. um I'd like to kind of flavor word of radiance to have like my eyes glow purple and for me to like kind of as if I'm channeling the Raven Queen and say um oh something clever. Mm -hmm. I say something clever. If you say something clever <laughs> I give you a bonus. <laughs> um like uh we are in her house and we are going to protect her children. You will help us. All right, okay. Um and then so she has to do a con save. Con save. Which I'm sure she's going to do well because she's. Yes, she rolled a 21. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but can I roll persuasion to see if I'm like connecting to the like, you know, religiousness in her? Yeah, yeah, I like that. No. Nah. <laughs> Five. <laughs> nah, though, no. Nah. I try, but my eyes don't even glow. Fucking nothing happens. I'm this just is... like, bitch. Come on. <laughs> this is really the day of everything either hits or misses hard. Yeah. Uh, Tabby, back to you. Uh, I'm, as she like goes around me, as I was like trying to get her attention, I sigh and I look over to where she is and I say, 
All quality, this is bullshit, and I'm going to try to uh, charm monster. So I need her to make a wisdom save. Okay. Wisdom, also not one of her greatest. 13. That fails. Okay. All right, so uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, uh, it has advantage since we are fighting it, technically. So it has an advantage? Down. Yep. She does, I guess. Even yeah. lower. Cool. Uh, I run over to her and say, Opal, Opal, hey, are we? am I getting through to you? Hello? Does she respond at all with any words? No. Whatever Opal is, is not in control right now. Okay, so she's friendly to me at least. Uh, so I'm going to be like, Opal, let's sit down, let's sit down. I'm going to uh, uh, usher her over to a seat uh, if she'll follow me. She will not follow you. I'm going to keep standing in front of her and say, Opal, do not hit me. <laughs> Just keep, if you love me, don't hit me. If you love me, don't hit me. I don't think she loves me, that's fine. <laughs> that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Brilia. Me, this doesn't seem to be working. I'm sorry. Slash, slash, slash. <laughs> Lawn yeah. lethal. Spell ends. <laughs> <laughs> if it hits. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Never mind. Brilia's not thinking. <laughs> Oh, that definitely hits. That is a 26. Mm -hmm. I spell slot. <laughs> um, yeah, if you want to roll all three at once and then... Oh, yeah, I'll do damage later. We'll Max, do that. Max, we'll do that. all your damage in one big um, bucket. Perfect. A 19 to hit. 19 is enough. Um, 24 to hit. Yep. <laughs> Tabby's just like... Mm -hmm. Guys... I'm doing non-lethal. <laughs> it's not great. Oh, that was actually real good. Okay, wait a second. Um, that's nine. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and they're considered magical for your notes, if that affects anything. That is good to know. All right. Uh, Brilli just, like, just starts slicing at her. She seems so focused on Verity and Ariana that she's not... She doesn't even really try to dodge it. Uh, Ariana, back to you. Okay. Um, seeing all this transpire... Um... I'm, oh boy. Well, first I'm gonna use my action to continue to do my uh, Evernation. So it deals another, three, four. I should have just kept these aside. Okay, that's a little bit better. 10, 16, uh, 19 necrotic yeah. damage. 19 necrotic, all right. Uh, that's nine. That's put that good news, bad news. Good news that puts me to full current HP. Bad news, that's 25. Bad news, that's 25. <laughs> um, I'm going to step out from the shadows or wherever I am. Um, and I'm just going to say, Cade, if that's you, this isn't what are you trying to do here? That's mm -hmm. what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and if you don't respond, we're going to demolish this meat puppet that you've had. I am so sorry, Tabby, but I, huh? I'm i just, I'm calling them as I'm seeing them. I call them like so sees them. I'm, in, I'm a necrodruid. <laughs> 100 points. Um, not XP points, but you know, points. Uh, okay. Back to her. Uh, she's gonna keep coming at Verity. That's the third one she's rolled. What is wrong with her? Um, the other hits, I guess. I guess. Finally! Okay. She does. Wait. 17. Uh, slashing damage. And 2 thunder damage as one of her hits slams into you. How you doing, Verity? 
Not great. How many HP you got? 17. That's, that's better than some people have. No, it's not. Let me die. No! Honestly, let me go. Let me fucking go. <laughs> Faraday's just been, like, waiting for death for so long. She's just done. Raven yep. Queen, take the wheel. <laughs> um... Okay, well, Ariana seems to think it's, uh, it's Kate. Do you want to do anything to get some more information? Look, magic shit is not my shit. Um, I... Oh, actually, that was her attack, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you have your turn. It's my turn, turn. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you, does it matter what I do first, if I... No. Uh, what, what would I, what would I do... <laughs> Arcana? I... Mm -hmm. Yeah? Sure. Yeah. Let's do that. Eight. Nope. Not useful. Okay. There's Let's magic have on her. My Give me that. attack miss. Um eighteen to hit. Uh yep, eighteen me meets. You gotta meet it before you can beat it. Thirty-five damage. Thirty-five, eh? Yep. She's not looking good at all. Uh, next up is Lenore. Awesome. I'm going to cast fourth level sleep on her. Ooh, Ooh. I like where you're going. All right. Um, so that's like a butt ton of D8. Yeah. I'm hoping it's more than what her HP is. I'm going to go just, I'm going to right up next to her so that I am. Who's within 20 feet of me? Or can I position it so it's within 20 feet of her and not anyone else? We're all ganged up on her. Yeah. yeah. Like, can I cast it behind her? Um. Yeah, this is going to be the hard thing. Well, you know what? If one of your friends falls asleep, then you just have to wake them up later, right? I know. That's not the problem. I just want <laughs> all of the D8 to go to her. So that's if fair. I can, like, um, I'll, I'll push I'll, her. I'll, I'll say you can, like, just, like, 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 hit her in the face or something and use that as a, like, I'm closest to her now. Okay. Um... Because it's the person with the lowest hit points within a 20-foot range of where oh, I cast I the see. spell. So Verity's going to take a little nap, maybe. So if I can, like, what are our positioning? Because if she's, like, if we're all facing her, I can cast it 20 feet behind her, or... Uh, everybody is within 20 feet of her, except for Ariana. Um... Are we, like, circling her? Yeah. Okay. Except for Ariana. Well, she's really low, so that's good. She's far away. What about full health? Yeah, she's full health now. 25. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't think I have enough D8. Oh, that's good. <laughs> if I roll well, it's good. Um, okay. I'm going to write five and then four more. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. That was good. 48. 48. Eh? All right. Uh, let me see how that all plays out. Um... And I want to, like I said, try and position it so that it is as far away from other people as possible, mm -hmm. but still within a 20 foot range of her. Uh, cool. So you cast sleep and uh, both Opal and Verity pass out. Great. That's probably the best we could have hoped for. Um, and I say, Tabby! Does anyone, want to, try to, anyone want to try to grab either up. of them before they hit the ground and get a little uh, concussed? Uh, I no. was already kind of like arms around, uh, like, no, 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 no. Don't go any further around Opal. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to try to grab Opal at least. Mm -hmm. I don't want her waking up on the collision to the ground. We'll just do a Very, dex. Whoever, wants to, be whoever fine. wants to try to catch them can roll a dex save if they want. Oh, uh, 19. Yep, that's fine. You catch her and lower her to the ground. Uh, can I roll with disadvantage to catch both? <laughs> oh, I was gonna try to get Verity. Oh, if you're already doing that, you're doing that. Okay. My, you my said tail dex check, check or dex save? 
Uh, check. Okay. I rolled an actual 20, so that'll okay. be a 23. Okay. Both of them are caught and uh, gently lowered to the ground. Um, should we, like, tie this person up? It seems like you don't want us to murder her. Rope, I am aware of you. Uh, and I'm in the process of tying I think it would be best not to, um, you know, murder um, Tabby's love. That would probably be great. She's um, still in there, so I mean... We, I... I don't feel too bad, but some of you guys look like, to be perfectly honest, shit. Um, like, Ariana, you're wearing it really well, but you don't look very healthy. I'm fine! Um, Verity, like... Look at her. She's like, <laughs> she oh, needs that nap right that, now. Though. Yeah, that's true. Um, can, should I think we should rest? I don't know how we're going to take over like all of these, all of these like vampire cat creatures and deal with Tabby's emotional issues without some sleep. What issues? I mean, <laughs> this is your girlfriend, right? She just tried to kill you. I haven't seen her in years. It's it's. I I'm not I'm not that selfish. Um. Uh, where can we have a safe place? Um, is there a a a a, a, a uh, look outside and like I just see like a little bit of an opening in trees and stuff? Like, is there a safe place? This is not the a safe place. To... The guardian is here, and if we're um, we're in a thing, I can also put another guardian at the other entrance. We're also like this is a church, right? Yeah. Is this a church? Yeah. I like. I don't know a lot about vampires, but I do know that they don't really like churches. So this is probably a good place for us to like nap, right? Well, you know the vampires are here, so if this was still, it's probably desecrated. Yeah. Mm. I still have ceremony. I could bless like the the space. That's well. true. So it's hard for them to like. So it's hard for them to come in. I can like perform some ceremonies. Like I don't have a lot of blood on me, but I could like imagine blood. And I also, I kind of have a confession to make to you guys. It's not really a thing that's necessary for the Raven Queen. I just kind of like to do it. Yeah, I mean, I assumed. <laughs> just let um, the Raven Queen know you're still her girl. Is she still your yeah. girl? Both. <laughs> so I can, like, bless this area, and then if anyone has any other way for us to, like, have I a tight little nappy nap. I think between the two guardians, we should be fine. That, or we could also potentially. I look over at Ariana. Do you have a small house you could make? <laughs> Some kind of magical hut, or maybe. Any, um, any better, any better uh, resources that you can help us out with? So, are you guys debating taking a short rest or a long rest? Yeah. No, I don't even know if we're attempting to talk about a short rest, right? Like, I need to. <laughs> it's, it needs to be I a need sleepy a, sleep. I need a long. Oh, I rest. thought we were doing short rest. Shoot. Okay. Uh. So I will say, you guys have at this point about forty-five minutes until those baby vampires wake up with HP, okay. um, and whoever else is with them. So if you want to yeah. deal with them and not have to fight them in full again, you probably don't have time to rest. Yeah, I want to. Uh, I want to. Can we find like a more secluded place in this church? Because I can whip up my little study carol. I mean, the top floor is all just open space, like it's super open concepts. So you guys can head downstairs and you know take the lay of the land down there. Probably some little hidey holes there. But the big issues you're going to face right now is outside there's a raging storm, so you can't really yeah. leave her outside because she'll freeze to death. Mm -hmm. uh, the main area of the chapel is looks like it's pretty close to crashing down, especially after the few thunder attacks she got in. Uh, thankfully, not as many to actually bring stuff down, which was her plan. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you have about 45 minutes until vampire babies wake up. Let's check... Ooh. We could go deeper I'm, in. Yeah, I say we check downstairs really quickly to see mm -hmm. if there's, like, a nice little hidey hole, because, like, yeah. it, it might... Like, my, my study carol might not... Like, it's kind of invisible, but, like, if it gets discovered, we're kind of done for, and we wouldn't be able to do a full long rest, so we better mm. scout out a good place for this thing. Yeah, because if we, like, this is just a mechanics question at this point. If we long rest, do we get our hit points back? Uh, yes, if you long rest, you start, like, well, basically, you start regaining back your max HP. I think it's one point per hour, your max HP. Oh. Like, it'll take you guys days to fully heal from this. Yeah. Or okay, if we so create it's... a restoration, I believe that's another way too. Yeah. But that's a big 
big uh, I only have two greater restorations. Yeah. So who do you And I have best? none at the moment. If I we have were none right now. If we were to short rest right now, I could potentially greater restoration the person who needs it most and then get my spell slot back. Short rest is an hour. Yeah. So it would still be an hour. I, so the babies would still regenerate, but I am gonna uh, sit up uh, Opal and say, Koss, since you are here and you are strong, I am here. Carry. I've been here the whole time fighting this boss with you. Yeah, I'm surprised. It looked like you were outside swinging at nothing. Do you have lag? or? I do have <laughs> lag, but don't worry. All uh, my damage came in at the end. Okay, okay. Spell, spells, the spell also only lasts one minute, so she's gonna wake up, like, now. Yeah, also, so it's very... You tied her up, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But she's going to be conscious, conscious like mm-hmm. now. Um, oh, oh, the other thing we could do is we could go down and stab, like take 45 minutes to stab those baby vampires and like find out where they are, kill them, then sleep and take care of the others. Yes. I would like to do that very much so. Yeah, that sounds okay. okay. Um, just in case, how about I help? <laughs> so you can't get any healthier, can you, Ariana? I mean, I am the spitting image of health. You are. You look very. You look frailer than normal. I'm oh, not gonna lie. Okay. Well, this is writing. I don't trust. I it. thought I was doing pretty good myself, but I mean, that's fine. It's cool. Um, because okay. I can, I can perform some, some like healing prayers and stuff, and and get people some, some more energy before we go down, just in case like more things try to kill us. And I could also just, you know, say some sweet words to everybody and have everybody feel a little bit better from my healing words. Mm, I'm as good as I'm going to feel. Yeah, <laughs> so. I, I have a little bit of space, but I can live with it. I, I, I'll, I'll be fine. I think our, our best thing is to go now and and, and uh, not not let other things die. To, we need to take this out now. Should we go down and stab some baby kittens? <laughs> I mean, evil vampires. Don't worry, I'm replacing the words you say with, with the, the correct lingo. No worries. Okay. This is the quickest I've been able to repress anything. It's incredible. You look how good you're getting at this. Tabby's eyes have not been like like slivers. They've just been big the entire time. And she's like, it's fine. I'm, I'm okay. Nothing is wrong. Everybody knows that's not true. <laughs> no. <laughs> His hair, his fur is standing up all over the place. Yeah, like you guys, as like as Tabby walks past, you can see like the back of his jacket is like raised up because of how hard his fur is raised on his back. I'm gonna like shake Verity awake and say, <laughs> "Right, hey, Verity, nobody woke Verity up yet." How's how's your little nap, Verity? And I'm also gonna give her um a cure, a uh, first level cure wounds as I do that. Same. I don't have many spell swords left, but. That's the benefit of having reduced uh, maximum hit points. We don't need to use our big healing spells. Yeah. I, that's nine. That's nine hit You're points. You're so welcome. Um, All right, Koss, take, take, uh, take the lady and we will start heading in. They look at everybody, thumbs up, like big smile, but very like intense. Like. All right, uh, Koss uh, picks up, she picks up the shield and the uh, warhammer and she sets them outside of the building. Uh, and then she throws uh, Opal over her shoulder. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I channel divinity. <laughs> I'm just, I take like a second, I do a little prayer, and um, everybody gets one D8 temporary hit points. And also, anyone who is being charmed or frightened isn't. Oh, so if, if Opal was charmed by some remote charm so spell? If, if Opal's charmed currently, she's not now. Okay. She's still unconscious. Like, the minute has gone by, but she's not awake yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let her sleep. That's good. Um, and that's exactly how my prayer goes. It goes, oh, shit. Raven Queen. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't not checked in. Um, I hope, hope everyone, can you just help us not die, please? Like, I know if we're meant to die, we'll die now. But, like, I'd really like it if we were alive for a little bit longer. Thanks. Rebuild my sweet house in the north. You, you just hear is. like like you hear a raven that just goes got you fam. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, we got we got eight temporary hit points. At least that's some more. That's some more. Well, a d8. So do you all roll the same amount? Like do you all? Oh, you all roll. Yeah, a d8. Or do you all roll independently? No, we roll independently. 
I have got a spell that can give us max max heals, but I'm going to use that later. <laughs> Saving that one for when we're going to die. Uh, so yeah, you roll. You, do you want to roll your own d8s? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got six. Awesome. Good eyes. I got my max eight on that. I feel good. Tasty, tasty. Time to go and do some questy. Um, shall we continue downstairs then? Mm -hmm. All right. With Opal unconscious, the building falling apart, and the storm raging outside, you know that time is short. Uh, the building is falling to pieces as the storm rages, and... Uh, you know that if you left the vampires here, the collapse would still allow them to live. You make your way down to the catacombs, brushing aside cobwebs. The crypt where these vampires have made their home is not far. As you step into the room, let me pull up the graphic. There we go. Uh, as you step into the room, you see eight coffins lying out and open. Two of the bodies resting inside them you recognize as the boys from Silver Peaks that you fought. All of the people in the coffins are tabaxi, and none of them are older than 15. They are all asleep and seem unaware of you. Fools. Hmm. So, the, the, I'm guessing we go up and stab, but I don't know if that... Is there more? Do we, do we put them into running water, or...? Verity, can you control water? Yes, I can. Yeah, I can make so it rain still, in here. Who can we still have that holy. Things? Yeah, we still have that holy water. That's true. Mm -hmm. And then I can light them on fire afterwards. Hmm. <laughs> You're like, this is what I've been waiting for. This is this is <laughs> this is what I was made to do. <laughs> really, I can't. Um, be a vampire hunter. You guys can you do something where it's sunny inside. I can also do that. <laughs> yes. Can, can do that? someone make it sunny inside? Yeah. Because yep. I'm worried if we stab them and they wake up, they're gonna be like, "Oh, I'm gonna murder you." So do we so do daylight first, and then control water, and then fire, or what um, order do you I want mean, to I mean, if send? you guys want to do some um, some rolls about what you would know about this, you can get various details about how effective these things might be. Didn't we do that already? I thought we did. did yeah. yeah. For the do you have your Vampires to begin with. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah it was did. holy. That's why we made the holy water. We've already, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no yeah, information for you. <laughs> so what we can do is I can cast my light as Verity uses water on the bodies. Is your light at the same time? Is oh, yours daylight? You... Yeah, yours um, isn't daylight, is it? Mine is, I believe it still counts as daylight because it's a wall of light. I think it's made of daylight. Let me double check that, though. You know that it, like, if you're looking at your spells, it needs to be sunlight. Like, it needs to not be an artificial yeah. light source. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that if that's the case. But I believe sunlight, for example, does count as real light. I don't know about yes. some of the others. It is. You've got daylight, right? Yep. Verity? Yeah. Yep. So we could just use that. <laughs> so, running water, daylight, and uh, a stake through the chest. Your, and your, then stabbing. Yep. Oh, is there technically wood? not considered sunlight, even though it's from Paler Rip. <laughs> and it's honestly, okay. like at least the two you were fighting, you know, are like sort of at zero HP. Like if you just attack them again, like they they can't go elsewhere. You know, like that would be it. So okay, this is a sixty foot radius sphere, so it should cover the whole room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Light it up. Light it up, up, up. Light it up, up, up. We it's a it. sunbeam. <laughs> uh, all right. So you yeah, cast. You Verity casts uh, a ridiculously bright ray of sunlight in the center of the chamber. And it slams down at all of the vampire bodies. Uh, a few of them hiss and turn into ash almost immediately. Um, but a couple of them actually start trying to get up and out of their coffins. Could we oh. say that we were holding an attack for that, or are we just going to go straight into initiative? They're, like, they're, you guys have a surprise round effectively on them. Mm -hmm. This is more just like, how are you guys going to get rid of the last few, you know what I mean? I, can I just say, I hold my sword out and go pew pew and shoot my Eldritch Blasts at them? Yes. 
All right, there's one going to each of them. The first one is a 19. The second one is a critical hit. Okay. Uh, Tabby, Tabby shoots down, uh, let's say, the two that you were fighting earlier. Pew, pew. I'm an air bear stuff. As long as you guys have enough that you could hit all eight, they won't get a turn. Okay. I'm going to target one with a guiding bolt. Mm Mm-hmm. You also roll with advantage right now. Thanks awesome. to the sunlight. And cool. Uh, 17 plus 6. Yep. <laughs> 15 points of radiant damage. Okay, that's three down. There's five left. How are they clustered? Um, they've each kind of got their own little alcove like next to each other, like sort of like you know, like like how you imagine kids lined up in an orphanage. Okay, cool. I want to. Mm, I'll be able to hit three. You're welcome, Luna. So... You can definitely hit three. Um. Well, yeah, because I was planning to do like ice knife and have it explode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if it's lined up the way it is, and there would be five like five foot between the two. So two. Uh, yeah, I want to try to hit the three of them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that hits, uh, I'm guessing, with a 19. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, so the one takes... Let's see, I just had... There it is. So one takes 10 damage. Mm-hmm. And that one plus the two beside it We'll take another five coal damage. That's enough. Only two little ones left. All right. Stab and stab. <laughs> That's all I can do. Uh, critical yep. on one of them. One of them's down. And then. Can you um, can you attack more than one uh, creature? Yep. I just move around. It just takes my movement. That's fair. Um. Second one will be an eighteen to hit. Yep. Okay. And then still want me to roll damage? Yep. Okay. So that this will be... Five, good. Huh? As long as it's more than five, they're dead. Okay, so the first one's dead, especially with that critical. <laughs> um, the second one barely is dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, so with Verity holding the light above your head and the vampire screaming, you cut them down in ten seconds flat. Uh, most of them kind of hanging off of the edge of the various coffin they were in. I'm immediately thinking that there might be more somewhere else, so I'm just looking. Uh, was there any other pathways on the way over here, or is there a further path or a doorway or anything? Like, does this area go deeper, or is this like the final area in this in this little catacomb? Crib? Yeah, this seems like the final area. There were little kind of off shots, but most of the other coffins were like in the walls as you walked. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, that was like really easy to kill them. Don't you think that? Um, like Opal could have done that herself. On her own, maybe not, but maybe she was the one who put the others others in the in the caskets. Because I don't know, I didn't see any other mists coming flat coming from where we were, and uh, I only recognized the two that we were already fighting before. Mm, is anyone like concerned that Opal might be really mad that we just murdered all of those vampires? I like, mean... did it seem like she was guarding them to anyone else? I mean, as as somebody that deals with the undead, it's really hard to murder something that's already dead. That's true. They were already super dead. So, when once she comes to, I'll just tell her to, to cope the same way I am. There is no way we can get them back. Turn it off. I'm sorry. I just was thinking of uh, st- static, and that's it. Nothing else. Um, can we like uh, sleep or something? Cause. Uh, that was rough. It's kind of hitting me. I mean, this does look like a good place for my study, Carol. <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, with all the dead babies around you, there's well, a place. There's a place a little bit outside of this room that would maybe be. They uh... turned to ash, right, Melissa? They turned to ash. Yeah, yeah. Our right. dead baby bodies. Stop emotionally torturing us. You they already just... said they turned to ash. <laughs> they just their outlines of like the chalk drawings I was drawing back. <laughs> yeah, in, like uh, um, in... Scott Pilgrim with the coin style. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but yeah. Ash. Okay. 
but we know that they were babies. Like, it's very... <laughs> I walk over with a broom. <laughs> Nothing's over here. Don't look at me. <laughs> Aggressively cleaning. Uh, okay, who? What, what do you guys do first? Well, I'll, I'll spend a minute to cast my tiny hut. Cool. Uh, you cast a spell, uh, and when you are done casting, it does not appear. Hmm. I'm going to cast the spell magic. Okay. How? Uh, what's the range on the spell magic? Oh boy. Let's see here. It's, it says enough. It's That's weird. It just says, says enough. It, yeah. yeah, just it's so enough. weird. I, I mean, I'm just like following a, what's in the book. A narratively so. convenient amount, perhaps. Yeah. 120 feet. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Yeah. All right. Was, yeah. The spell magic in the room. Um. So, as uh, you cast your spell, you feel. I do need to caveat this for each spell yep. that's higher than fourth level. I need to make an ability check using the uh, spell casting ability. Um, the DC equals 10, the spell's level. Okay. Give me three of those, please. Three of those. Whole badgers. Okay, so I want to cast that at fourth level then. I'm inspiring you for uh, each, uh, for this first one. So it's oh, a Oh, merci beaucoup, monsieur. All right, so. Um... The spell then. I'll also, it, like, I'll also uh, cast Guidance. Okay, cool. Um, Each time. <laughs> Alright, so three. Uh, the first one is a 20. Okay. Uh, the second one... is an 18 mm -hmm. and the third one i'm going to use the inspiration what's the inspiration a d10 a d10 and what does the guidance give me d4 a d4 so a d4 and a d10 i'm going to need it <laughs> okay uh let's see here 18 Uh, 24. Okay. Um, that's enough as, uh, three different ability or three different things set throughout the room, uh, basically cancel themselves out. Um, the first one you feel some kind of like, I want to say acid based trap, Ooh. uh, that you feel is, uh, is released. <laughs> Uh, another you uh, feel is um, like a proximity with like this big orb, not orb, um, circular area in the center of the room where people write runes in. There's some kind of fire thing based on proximity there. The third one that uh, just that fades away is an invisibility spell. And standing at the top of the stairs is a man. As the spell fades away, he laughs. He has dark hair and a magical orb in his hand. He smirks at all of you, but his eyes linger on Ariana and Verity. Good show. Good show. Oh, I was wondering if you would go through with it. Children are just the easiest way to manipulate fools like you. Well, this is our good well. friend, Cade. Did Cade walk down the stairs through my guardian? It's gone now. It's gone? Yeah. He dispelled it? Yeah. Did he over? I'm gonna die now! It was fourth hey, level. Just buddy. saying. So, what's the grand plan, Stan? The grand plan? The grand well, plan is to get yeah. revenge against the little bitches who killed my wife. I was gonna say I'm not that little, but I didn't kill your wife. But no, I did yeah. you, the and, that you was didn't really, kill my wife. You know who you no. killed? You killed your girlfriend's son, didn't you? My girlfriend's son? That was her son? Hmm. Hmm. 
I guess so. That wasn't really me who killed it, though. I don't think so. So. And I do, I do need to just nitpick a little bit, seeing as I am from academia, and that's what we do. Um, we didn't kill your wife. The ground gravity killed did. your wife, and the gravity did. So if you have a beef, bring it up with Mr. Isaac Newton. That's great. Um, well, you've set off a lot of the traps that were going to just ambiently kill you, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more work this time, which is a real shame. Uh huh. I suppose so. He looks around at the room. Yep. Very. Or sorry, Lenore. As soon as I see him, I'm gonna cast um Shield of Faith or Verity. Mm hmm. So um I don't think it's gonna do that much, but Verity take plus two to your AC. Okay. Some right. Uh huh. But we're all here finally together again why don't we just get down to it and he smacks his hands together and okay. as he does uh you feel do a i massive... recognize that it's a spell yes can i counter spell it sure give it a whirl <laughs> what level is it <laughs> what level is his spell yes this spell is going to be i think it's level six okay i do have to roll for it then i do have to roll for it then we don't. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I need to. Yep. I need to roll for it. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Uh, so it is a six level? I believe so. I'm just pulling it up. Okay. Is it, is it murder everyone? Is that what it is? I mean, those of you who have fought him before might recognize this uh, as a beefed-up version of a spell he did the last time you fought him. All he did was, like, give his wife a whole bunch of, like, hit points and whatnot. He also had an ability lightning. that did a chunk of, like, thunder and lightning damage every turn. There's a lot of lightning. Oh, <laughs> I don't remember the lightning. I believe it was, like, a D6 of damage every turn or something like that at that point. It was too much. Nice. <laughs> Did you know that we are going to try to come to you and kill you at some point? I mean, this is actually just, like, cutting out the middleman, because that was going to be my next suggestion, is just to find this sucker and... Yeah, convenient, really. Put him under the ground. Real time yeah, saver. You're yeah. out in the field, kind of near the uh, the dwarf area, kind of in between character, right? Yeah, that was you over there? I mean, luckily we don't have to dig such a deep grave, because he's got such a little man syndrome going on, so... Ooh. He's not a halfling. He's not a yeah. From the halfling, you got a short joke. <laughs> uh, really, how'd you do? Oh, it is six level. I was waiting for you to confirm that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Lord. I'm also um, gonna... okay. Um, You're also getting I... inspiration right now, by the way, in case you need the D10. Oh. Um. I. I don't need it. I'll just keep it. <laughs> um, Please do. Please do. But um, that will be a twenty-one. Okay. Uh, he slaps his hands together and nothing happens. And he looks immediately at Brilia. And he says, You're first. Can I, can I cast another spell? Let's do uh, initiative. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm get as many in before she I, he had a, He had a prepared it. spell for after his dramatic speech. So. Yeah, yeah. That, there goes my last spell slot. So I hope that was a wise choice. <laughs> Tabby twenty-four. Tabby twenty-four. Okay. Uh, twenty-three because I rolled a nat twenty. Ooh, okay. I'm ten less of that. Thirteen. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, fifteen as well. Twin. I'm going last oh. again. Come on! I thought I was going to be good. Uh, which of you two wants to go first, Lenora or Verity? I'm guessing your dex is higher, Verity. Right. Yep. Okay. Yes, I'm assuming. <laughs> All right. We got our order of operations. Uh, Tabby, the floor is yours. Uh, uh, I'm going to run up directly behind him because uh, he's up the stairs, right? Yep. Yep. Right. Um, so you guys are kind of in the main area, and then there's like a sort of an L-shaped square. So it'll take a little bit to run straight up to him, uh, unless you want to, you know, fly or jump or whatever. I got the movement. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before well, I, mean, I run you up do, there, yeah. yeah. I'm going to whisper, do you want me to kick him down here? Mm -hmm. Sure. 
Is it better if he's near you guys, or should I keep him further away? Either. Mm, okay. I, I run up there, uh, uh, stay directly in front of him, uh, and I am going to swing my sword at him twice and use one of my bardic inspiration dies on it. Uh, that is a uh, 23 on my first hit and a 19 on the second hit. Yep. All right, cool. So that's a D8, D10, D10. Or D8, D... D8, D8, D10. Okay. Four, ten. Ten. Hell yeah. Or, wrong die, wrong die. So ten, fifteen. That is twenty damage. Uh, and then, uh, he... Then I'm going to get an extra... Um, that was a six on that. Extra six to my armor class. Oh, and tasty. I'm standing directly in front of him. All right. Um, the attacks land, but you can tell they don't do as much damage as you think they should. Mm -hmm. I put my sword like on the ground, like, ha. Huh. Back up. Mm -hmm. And that's my turn. Brilliant. Really, uh... I know better than to get close to him right now, so we're just gonna do a lovely sacred flame. <laughs> um, so I need a deck save from her. Okay. Ooh, uh, rolled pretty well. Um, 24. He still takes half damage, I believe. Okay. That sounds right. Um, ooh, a 7 and a 6 on the 8, so we like that. Um... So that, I can do math, guys. I swear I can. It's just, you know, uh, 17 divided by 2. Okay. That is. Uh, That's 8. Two. Thank you. Okay. I was trying to avoid having to do that basic math. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else? Is that your turn? Um, That is my turn. Verity. Um, I don't have much. That, um, I'm gonna have to go with the stabbing. Back to the stabbing. And if you're stabbing, stab. you get advantage and sneak attacks because of me. Yes, yes. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. <clears> 20? <throat> Feel free to, you know, yell at Cade and say some more things and ask him questions if you want while we're doing this, too. Cade, are you wearing any metal? <laughs> also, Red that he actually took no damage. I don't <laughs> I don't wear metal. I am metal. Oh, that's, oh I could that's just the... hit you. That's easy. <laughs> <laughs> he, took, he took no damage? Is that what you said? I forgot it doesn't do half because it's cantrip oh. life. Yeah, I had to okay. double check. That's okay. How'd it go, Verity? <laughs> 36 damage. 36. All right. Almost like uh, almost like you're the um, the rogue of the party doing some serious almost. Uh, DPS. Almost. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that your whole turn? Yep. Cool. Next up is Lenore. I'm going to cast Beacon of Hope. Mm -hmm. um, which means that uh, we all get advantage on wisdom saving throws. Um, we all get advantage on death saving throws. And anytime we are healed, we get the maximum number of hit points from each healing. Mm. That's pretty tasty. And, and then as a bonus action, I'm going to spit at him. <laughs> You always say, spit at people. How is yeah. this your thing? I hate people. You should have they been deserve a, to be spit at. You should have <laughs> been a dragonborn. That could be corrosive spit. Yeah, I'm hoping. All right. One of these days. So you spit at him. Good to know. Uh, end of turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, last up is Ariana. All right. He must have rolled low for his initiative. Um, he did. I'm going to say to him, we have 
traveled far and wide in your absence, and we've picked up a few things along the way. I've picked up a number of different friends as well. So I would like to introduce you to a group of friends that I like to call 16 feral wolves. <laughs> what? 15 to 30 feral ooh, hogs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm going to cast my last level five spell to conjure animals, creating 16 <laughs> feral wolves. 16 feral wolves. 16 feral wolves. Yeah. I want that on a t-shirt. So they will go on initiative roll of five. They're on five, eh? All right, so they yeah, are after him. they're on initiative him. roll five. Um, and then I would like to use my bonus action to say, and that's not all, I also have the clown squad. And I <laughs> hope that the four <laughs> zombies that I had upstairs come crashing down on top of him. Uh, okay, you're gonna try to force them in. Um, unfortunately, uh, it looks like there's some kind of magical barrier that would have kept you guys in here, and it is unfortunately keeping out the clown squad for the moment. They can keep oh. counting on it, though. They might be able... It's like one of those, like, if you hit it enough, Right, so I'm just, just gesturing at the stairs, hoping for them to come, because I don't know this information. So I'm just like, and the clown, clown squad! The no. clown squad! <laughs> <laughs> We're trying, Daddy! We're trying! The clown squad! Anyway, that's me. <laughs> Uh, nicely done. All right. Time for Cade. Uh, Cade, uh, looks at your wolves and, uh, where did you cast them? Uh, I'm guessing in the room that we're in? Yeah, not up the stairs, because they're probably nearer no. to you, right? Yeah, so yeah. they're around me and they're going to be rushing him. All right. Uh, so Cade says, well, you've got some good ideas, Ariana. Always appreciate that about you. Uh, and he summons four celestial uh, guardians. I'm going to me or has he gotten that. snarkier? I know we haven't seen him in a while, but he's gotten snarkier. Losing your wife people. will do that to you, apparently. Yeah, apparently. I'm going to counterspell that. Give it a whirl. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, 20. <laughs> you damn wizards. Okay. Fine. Like I said, I picked up some things. He's got three turns, though, so he does it again. <laughs> yeah, I only had the one level. That's and I only have Well, I only have one reaction, right? So. Uh, yeah. They, um, they stand on the stairway. There's two at the top and two at the bottom. They look like they're more meant to kind of keep you guys at bay. Uh, they sort of, like, stand there like they're bastions of protection. Uh, and then he says, well... Try and block this, and he casts magic missiles. Yeah, I can't do anything for that. Uh, no one can. Why am I missing all of my? It's like they're magic today? missiles or something. I may um, have eaten them. He's casting half of them at Brilia and half of them at Ariana. He didn't like sure. you. He didn't like That's you. Sure. God damn it! Why does everyone suck today? Oh my god. Okay, fifteen damage to Brilia. Oh my god. Come on, Cade. You're the big boss. Get your shit together. It's 15 for each of you. Okay. I'm very disappointed in this man. <laughs> um, so that's his three turns. So back to you guys, which means it's the wolves' turn. Yeah! Okay, so there's 16 of them. They all have advantage because of pack ta tactics. Yep. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I feel like I'm one of the boys. Aha. <laughs> okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. Uh, what's the AC that I'm looking for, by the way? Just so I'm, uh, I can. You're attacking the uh, the guardians. Uh, no, I'm attacking him. Oh, you're going to him. I'm going um, to him. And those guardians got counter spell. Can they get up to him? I would assume so. Their speed is ridiculous. Oh no! Like after sorry, after you guys after he got dispelled the first time he cast that ability, he cast the ability again. So those guardians oh. are back. 
Ooh. So they're still on the stairs trying to block you guys from getting up. Well, I mean, they're sneaky boys, and I've got 16 of them, so... <laughs> Usually, can, all... they just, can they just bust past? It's just basically... Like well, they... that's what I'm asking. Like, are, that's their main target is the... You're probably going to have to knock down these uh, these guardians. Okay. To uh... get past them, because they're sort of, like, creating a wall. Okay. Uh, in that case, what's the AC of the guardians that we're looking for, then? You are looking at an 18. Okay, so we've got... What's their attack? Four. Okay, so that one misses, but that one hits and hits. Okay, so I'm going to reroll these guys. So that one misses, that one misses, that one misses, but this one hits. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them hit, and one of them was at a. Uh, uh, critical, so. Mm -hmm. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stop being so powerful, you guys. Ten. Okay, so that's four, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Five, thirty, thirty, thirty-four plus uh let's see here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Fifth so thirty-four plus fifteen okay. is uh, 49 points of damage. All right, 49 points of damage. We'll see it split between the two guys. Uh, cool. That's, uh, that's a lot of wolves, y'all. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the wolves. Cool. <laughs> um, was that a pretty average roll? Pretty good roll for them? Yeah, that was average. Okay, all right. So, well, we can say that, you know, they do about 50 damage a turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tavi. It's you again. Uh, do these these celestials uh, appear pretty much within my range of swinging, so I don't have to move, but I can still swing my sword around? Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm going to swing my sword uh, twice again. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's a 19 on the die. That's a 24. And that's not going to hit. I don't think that's a 15. I'm okay. guessing 15 nope. doesn't hit. Does not yeah. hit. Uh, the first one uh, I'm going to use with Green Flame Blade. So mm -hmm. that is going to be uh, D8 plus 5. That is 10. And that is then going to send another D8 plus 6 to the Celestial. That is going to be, I can't do math, uh, 13 fire damage to a Celestial next to me. Okay. And that's. Uh, I'm going to Healing Word... Um, uh, Verity as well, so that's an automatic, I think, four. Yeah, because you guys are maxed out. Just so you now. get a little bit more, yeah. Yep. Four? Yep, just a little, just a little, uh, hopefully just, that doesn't do too much. Just a... Yeah. Uh, Keep what's the little cakes spots. called? Le Petit... Biscuits? I call them little tasty fun times. <laughs> <laughs> I know when you go to a fancy restaurant, they call cakes, like, like, the little something. A mousse the bouche. Little... The little Debbies. Amuse bouche. Oh, you're so classy and <laughs> Ah, the little Debbies. <laughs> the little Debbie? Debois? It's like I was trying to explain to my friend's daughter about how like Joe Louis and stuff are like a garbage dessert and she's like, Then why do you eat them? And I'm like, Look. Look. Because <laughs> I'm a garbage human. Look. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, But why? If they're bad. I'm like, she's like, I've never had one. I'm like, don't, don't, don't. Anyways, uh, if that's it for Tabby, we over to Brilia. Um, you guys all see Brilia almost come to a realization as she looks at Cade, and she gets very mad. And I'm casting Toll the Dead as you guys see two bells that are tarnished gold appear above his head and smack him. So I need a wisdom save. <laughs> two bells smack him in the head. Yeah, and ring very loudly. Ooh, he rolls a twenty. 
Nothing happens. Is there half? No? Cantrips. No. <laughs> well, nothing happens. Cantrips. I love those mm -hmm. D12s, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else? Um... Mm, Ariana, how are you looking? Is that is that the answer? Just you know, I'm still gonna uh, take uh, six, take ten healing hit points. You have, you have to roll for that because you get mm. they get maximum. Page yeah, that's the, that's the ten. That's the maximum. Ten is the max. Take okay. ten hit points, Ariana. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Verity. It's all on you, boo. I'm for stopping again. Yay. Oh, that'll hit 22. Yep. Who are you attacking? Abe. Can you get to him? She's Can up next to him. Yeah, I'm next to him. I just okay. stabbed him last time. Okay. So you're the, you're the only one in melee with him then? Yeah. Me too. Oh, that's right. The two of you yeah. managed to make it in time. Yeah, yeah we big flanking ours. Aw, flanking buddies. Forty-one damage. Dear Lord, Verity. All right. Yelly glove. Yeah, it's got Ellie. two eights on that. I got he, two eights on. He looks at it. He looks at your glove and goes. Pill Wiccan! <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd managed to rid the world of her. Uh, it wasn't actually him. Lenore! Um, I'm gonna go hit one of these guardians. Yep. Hopefully. They're both looking the same? Um, no, one of them's a little bit more damaged. Uh, and there's a swarm of wolves around you. <laughs> I go, oh, um, oh, excuse sorry, me, excuse, excuse me, poppers, excuse me, um, I'm going to hit this thing with my great, my size. Yeah, they're like, that's cool. Uh, that's a nat 20, baby. Okay. Oh, could have rolled better. Mm. Everyone's a critic. Uh, 24. Uh, 24 that's already, damage? It's already doubled, yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the Celestial Guardians disappears in a flurry of sparks. Ha ha! The dogs okay. are happy because they'll be able to run past and get up to the next pair. That's right, buddy. Ariana, it's you again. Hold okay. On. Hold um, on. Hang on. Lenore may have one last move. Oh, no, no, no. no. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a couple steps back. Uh, and I'm going to say, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm just basically going to be like, throw up my hands and be like, look what I can do. And I'm going to transform into a, Ooh, no, that's what I'm going to say. Um, there's already a better emperor on the throne now and we sport his colors. Because you are turning into a lion. Oh, I was going to say the champion's a caracat, but that's cool. Oh yeah. That's I'm the champion of caracat and I'm turning into a lion. <laughs> So turn it into a lion, yeah. and then I'm going to run and pounce on. Um, so there's another pair of spirit guardians. So yeah, so or... at the bottom of the stairs, there's only one now, and then as you continue okay. up the stairs, there's two more, and then Tabby okay. and Verity and him are locked in a a combat up there. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run to try to knock down one of those with my pounce, so that my wolves can get a direct attack for him. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to need a strength saving throw from this creature. All right, from the guardian. He rolled a one. So he gets knocked down. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do my bite and claw action because so I he, can do that. He can't be knocked prone because he's not a real person. But you will, you will, he'll be effectively knocked down for your attack. Okay, great. Uh, I'm going to say that both hit as the lowest one is a 15, or sorry, a 20. Yep. Okay, so he will take. Uh, that's, nine. that's 12 piercing damage. Mm -hmm. 
and five slashing damage. Tasty. And he doesn't gonna, react because he's, you know, a construct, but... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to keep this creature down enough so that my wolves can get past. Sure. Uh, you but you that's see, like a, me. like, a cat just hang, like, like ha- half on top of, like, a transparent man? Yeah. <laughs> and the cat's just, like, kicking with one leg and, like, biting at the neck. <laughs> nope. Uh, delightful. All right, Kate's turn. Time for fun. Um, first thing that happens is he... What's he going to start with? Let's do those guardians first. So each of the guardians who's still up is going to raise their shield above their heads. And they're going to call down some lightning. Um, cool beans. So I think probably you're all in range of one of them, I'm going to say. I'm not going to worry about doubling it up. Um, and I don't know why I rolled, because you guys need to do saves. Um, <laughs> I know how to GM. I know what saves are. Um, let's say this is a dexterity save. See if you can jump out of the way of the lightning that they are calling down. 24. 16. 19. Hmm? 12. 15. All right. Uh, Lenore and Tabby, you succeed, so you'll take half damage, but everyone else will take the full brunt of this attack. As, um, yeah. Actually, Tabby, you rolled the highest, right? You rolled like a 24? Yep. Uh, I'm going to say you're also aware that um, you can tell that this lightning is actually coming from outside in the storm, and it actually is cutting through the chapel above you. So you can hear it crack through the ceiling. <clears throat> so that's fun. Um, okay, so you guys will take... 16 thunder damage, except for Lenore and Tabby, who take 8. 16, eh? Uh, and yeah, above Tabby, you can hear... Actually, anyone over 20. Lenore, you got 19, right? Yeah, Whoa. so you don't hear this. Um, but Tabby, you can tell that above, the chapel is not doing well. How, how'd, that, how'd you do that from outside? <laughs> that's, that's rude. You're going to make the building collapse. Just nag him. That's the way to solve the problem. I mean, what what else? Uh, don't forget, the... don't forget. At the end of your turn, if you have no temporary hit points left, then you get eight, uh, a d eight. Oh, is that, uh, is that automatic full eight because of your your thing? Or does that not apply to? You? Oh, I don't know. Beacon of Hope. Do they automatically get eight? I think it's for heals. It's I don't healing. Know. Um, I guess DM. It's up to you. We'll let you guys have it. It's more fun. It right? might be. It might be pushing it, but yeah. Or do you guys want to roll? Rolling's fun. Let's do that. Yeah, roll. I think. I think we do have to roll because I don't think it uh, does anything it's to. For, the no, it's for the max. It says you regain the maximum number of hit points from any healing. Yeah. Well, it's not technically healing. It's not right. technically healing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he is going to then attack Brilia. And uh, he is going to... Actually, can you give me a con save, please? A natural 20. (laughs) All right. So you don't get the poison damage uh, that would have been ongoing, but you do get the damage in this moment. Uh, And that is 12. 12 poison damage. Thanks, because you don't get any ongoing. How are you doing? Not great, but you know, I'm still up. You look still squishy? Mm-hmm. Squishy I'm enough squishy. that he would think he can take you out in a turn? Uh, depends what level spell slot he's thinking. He's but, gonna um, he's gonna use another um uh magic missile and he's gonna again split it between If he splits it he might not get me. Okay. He's gonna split between you and Lenore. Let's see how he does. Oh, he finally is rolling good. Oh shit. 19. And you finally, you finally feel brave enough, do you? 19 with Gabrilia. And, uh, 18 to Lenore. 
Are you two standing still? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, that is Kate's turn. My wolves. The wolves. My wolves. Are they gonna? So they're gonna keep doing what they were doing. Well, they're gonna try because I basically commanded them to go straight for Cade and what is further in their way. So, okay. okay. Uh, what's the AC that we're looking for again? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Yeah, but I'm happy so. to just say that like we get about the same damage as you did the last time. Okay. Um, that will mean that one of them is still standing and is is pretty okay, um, but the other is pretty close to death. Okay. Because I have the fancy roller on my phone right now, so. Oh yeah, if you want to roll it, you can roll it. No, that's okay. It'll save <laughs> a lot more time. It's gonna be less once he actually starts taking some of those wolves out, but <laughs> right now At he that wants point, to really I'll get start. Down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tabby, you again. All right. I think it's time to do the same thing I did last time, uh, and mm -hmm. that's going to green flame blade as well as if I hit on these attacks. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna stack that uh, uh, my bardic inspiration die and uh, green flame if I can. All right, first attack uh, that is a 17. Uh, Second one is no. an 18. Uh, the 18 hits. The 17 does oh. not. Okay, so I'm gonna green flame with that one, uh, and I'm going to bardic die as well. So that's uh, six. That is 11, and then where is that d10? D10. Uh, nine on that die. Um, that's also going to go to my AC, and I'm going to green flame the um, nearest guardian, and that is going to be eight fire damage to that. And I'm going to healing oh. word whoever is looking the worst. Uh, I'm guessing Brilliant looks the worst right now. I would guess so. What's how's Brilliant doing? I have seven hit points. Seven's not bad. Alright, that's not the worst. Uh, it... <laughs> but I'll do it at a... Uh, at a... Mm. I should probably do more than a second level. I'll do a third level uh, healing word, which would be, I believe, that is... Uh, bu 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 four, five, six... If that's a third level, that would be eight... No, 10, 11, 12, uh, 12 HP added to you. Mm -hmm. Thank and you. that'll be my turn. Awesome. Um, the damage that you did, I'm going to say you did it to the one that was the most damaged so far. Um, so with the combined effort of you, Ariana, and the wolves, uh, another one of those guardians is down. So there are two left, but they're they're not next to each other. So you guys have a clear path to him if you want it. I mean, you'll, you know, take an opportunity attack if you pass, but... Um, cool. Brilia, you got all them HP now. Make it happen. I'm just going to just blast him from a safe distance. <laughs> I feel like that's a good choice now. Yep. Uh, that does not hit. <laughs> that does not hit either. I do nothing. Oh, really is sad. Uh, Under temp HP as well. Yep. Um, Verity. Back to stabbing. Keep stabbing him. Just keep stabbing, stabbing, 25. stabbing. 25. Yep, that hits. Forty-two. Forty-two. All right. Oof. You're cutting into them better than anyone else's. Good job, uh, Lenore. Um, I'm gonna keep going up the stairs, and I'm gonna attack him with my scythe. Okay. Um. So. Uh, that's going to be. 19 to hit? Yep. Coolio. Uh, 10, 14. Uh, 16. And that's considered 16 damage total, and it is considered um, what is it? Badass damage. Badass damage, yes. It's bad, not good for him. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Ariana. Same as last time. I'm uh 
So you've uh, you've taken down um, enough of the guardians that you can get straight to Kate if you want to pounce him. Oh, wonderful. Him. Yeah, I want to run up and try to pounce him. So give me a uh, strength saving throw. A strength saving throw. A from a wizard. Mm-hmm. Uh, 17? Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, he's he's got some buffs up that make him a little bit more more punchy. That's okay. I'm just going to claw attack him then. That's fine. He still doesn't like getting clawed in the face. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing that a 13 misses? Uh, it does. Yeah, I kind of figured he had some kind of buffs on that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's it for me. All right. Um, it's him again. How many of you guys are within 30 feet of him? Everybody except Brillia? I don't know how large this like how far back on the stairway is i, I basically think, tried to get as far back as yeah i think possible. you're probably in the main room so we'll say okay. you're, you're maybe outside of range of this uh he takes a small orb out of his pocket it's like kind of marbly sized um but it's rotating with a few colors and uh he slams it down on the ground uh i would like you guys you guys are all gonna have to make a series of checks uh let's start with a con save from all of you. Um, and anybody who rolls lower than a 19, raise your hand. <laughs> okay. All right. So Lenore's fine. Jeez, Lenore. Come Good on. Good for you. All right. Anybody who right. hit by the con attack falls I'm a, I'm a prone. Cleric. <laughs> you guys all well, fall sucks. prone and you will take 13 damage for that. Next save coming at you guys is going to be a intelligence save. My goodness. Oof, oof. Uh, same thing. <laughs> what was it under? Under uh, 19, I believe, right? Same as last time. I, if I got 19, that means yes, right? Uh, it's meter beat meter usually. Beat. Yeah. Yeah, so I, if you, I if you match it or you get more, then you should be good. Yeah, you're okay. How does a one look, though? How does a one look? Yeah. Yeah, or a three. <laughs> not the um, smartest. Ariana, how'd you do? No, not good. Okay. Um, Verity, you are okay. Uh, you're still <laughs> on the ground, of course. But those of you who are hit by this ability suddenly can see nothing. And you guys will take... 16 damage. Oof. And last but not least, let's get a wisdom save from everybody. And Everyone maybe... has advantage. Yeah. I'll need that. Isn't Beacon of Hope concentration? I rolled for it. Oh, you did? Okay. I'm also a war caster, so I have advantage on my constitution save. <laughs> Tasty. Oh, yeah. oh my, my spell saves. I rolled a oh, three. I mean. Advantage, so... advantage, haha. -ha. You rolled a rolled... three? I rolled a two and a one, so I got a total of three. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I got a 12. Tabby. My, my, my season two of bad rolls that haven't happened are hitting me. Are, it's going to hit me at now. Like today. <laughs> I, next. Rolled a 20, I rolled a 25, and I'm feeling like really confident. I'm like, yes, I'm so glad that I did that prayer. And I look around, and you guys are all fucked. I'm yeah. like, ah. Okay. I see Tabby like, on the ground rolling down the stairs. Verity, how'd you do on that one? Too fast. Okay. All right. So if you failed it, you are now deafened. And you will take 21 damage. Not if I'm already knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Can Jokes I crowd on you, surf at me. I'm going to crowd surf down the wolves. Okay. Tabby, so how many? Did they all hit you? Yes. So you were blinded, deafened, and knocked prone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they all hit me as well, but joke's on him. You can't be blinded and deafened if you're knocked out. <laughs> right? Wait, you were, you, did you, oh, did you get through your hit points and then your, your normal hit points? Yeah, I only have five before I bamfed into the lion, <laughs> and then he slowly whittled that away, and with that last hit, it took out all, including my five hit points as a lion, so. Uh, Good night, everybody. Oh, oh, okay, no. uh, Ariana's taking a dirt nap. Tabby's mm -hmm. taking a dirt nap. How's everyone else doing? 
I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, I've been better, but I'm okay. Okay. It got better. Uh, his guardians are going to do a uh, another lightning call. Uh, so anybody who is still now. standing, roll a deck save. I swear this isn't just the day of saves. And do Ariana and I fail a death save because of that? I'm just gonna. I, I think technically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-one. Okay. Nineteen. Mm-hmm. Thirty. 20. Jeez, you guys are too good. All right, you're taking half damage only then. That's a really good roll though. Oh. Nineteen halved. <laughs> Yeah, if that had been four more, I would have been dead. Because <laughs> uh, my total shit. HP is 25, right? Yeah. Yeah? I'm not looking great. Just putting that out there. Mm -hmm. Do we? If you had to give a numerical value to you're not doing great. Between, like, one and whatever your max. <laughs> You'd give it a five? I would give it a five. It's just a general <clears throat> five. Brilliant. What would you I'm, give it? I'm still doing math, so I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> I'm guessing Cade is looking good. He's, um, I'll give you this. This was his, like, uh, his, like, I'm at half damage attack. Oh, he changed phases. Oh. Yeah, he's phase two enemy now. And this is why we pushed his wife off a roof. <laughs> Do you see what happened last time? This is why this you is used why. gravity. <laughs> This is why. Don't forget, you guys also have advantage on death saves when yeah. we get to it. Yeah. He also, like, specifically planned this and the whole situation at Silver Peaks to entice you guys and get you into the situation. So, I mean, Fair. you know, he knew what he was up to. I have 13 hit points. 13. Yeah. Right. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. I am now on 15. So. so, you're like the bulkiest member of the party. Yeah, All right. I started um, out with 60. <laughs> so one, two, he's got one more thing. And he's going to use his magic missiles to fulfill his promise to kill Brillia. He will badly. Bad still sounds good, though. Mm. Yeah, 16. I'm down. All right. Uh, it's the dream team. Verity and Lenore. Uh, that's Kate's turn. The wolves, are the wolves gone? Actually, yeah, they're gone. Oh, the wolves are gone. Yeah, it's concentration. Sad. Okay. sad. That's sad. Uh, so all the wolves disappear, uh, and uh, it would be Tabby's turn, so you can do a... I'm I'm banking on that 20 for a uh, for a, a successful save. The first yeah. one was a 17, the next one was a 7, so I passed one save. Okay. Uh, Brilia. Same thing. Remember, you guys have advantage on death save throws. I passed. Okay. Uh, Verity, it's you. I'm gonna stab him. <laughs> he looks at you with vile hatred in his eyes. <laughs> he said, he looks at you and he says, you would made a shitty daughter-in-law. <laughs> he broke up. <laughs> Focus on you. <laughs> you guys were on a break, it's obvious. <laughs> um... 23. To hit? Yes. Yep. I wish I had something that let me do like two stabs. <laughs> I'm just, I don't think it allowed. You do. You're a rogue. You have a bonus action. I might have to do that then. <laughs> you should probably be doing it every turn. No, you don't get that every turn, do you? Yeah. Yes. Finesse yeah. weapons. Dual wielder. Yeah, finesse. That's what I do. That's why I have three attacks. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. okay. Next season. Say next season. <laughs> next season. <Yeah. laughs> oh my gosh. Tune Fine. in next season. We've I'm just saying more that under bonus actions, it does not say that. I have you, my have thing. You on D&D you know Beyond, you... and it yeah. doesn't say that. Do you also do you also know you have uncanny dodge? 
Yes, I know that. But okay, good. Yeah, because <laughs> you just that one, been using that it. one. Is, that one it says. That if it doesn't say it in my thing, then it's not. It doesn't mm-hmm. exist. If it doesn't so. say it doesn't exist. That's true. That's, that's how it. things work in my calendar. So. Uh huh. Yeah, because you it's can use fair, that in like exist. every reaction. You can use Uncanny Dodge to take half damage. Mm. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Fine, it's fine. I see your point. I raise you a oh, fuck off. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. you hit him. How much damage do you do? I love everyone taps their It's 46. 46? Yes. Not 4d6. No. No. More than that. Stab him again. <laughs> yes. Can I stab him again then? Uh, apparently. Sure. Apparently, I can't. I don't know. I just assumed um, you were doing both. Together. No, that's one, right? Yeah. Uh, do I have to roll again, or can I just stab him again? You have no, to roll the hit roll again. again. Cool. <laughs> like, I don't want to do extra rolling. This is the dice maker. To. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. That'll hit. That's another sixteen. Okay. So twenty-three again. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And now you so do you don't get sneak attack. Yeah, you just no get your weapon attack. damage plus your dex. Which would still be pretty good. No, it's not actually. My <laughs> my sneak attack is five d six. You guys, that's what, that's all my yeah, damage. Yeah. That's but all my ex- damage. You're looking at three d eight, guys. Welcome. This is extra extra damage though. But it's a bonus. It's special. I know. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> oh. Nine. Nine. Well, you know what? Nine damage is better than no damage, which is what most people are doing on the floor. Lenore, oh. it's you. Okay, well, that was rude. Um, uh, do we want to just try and kill him, or should I heal these guys as well? <laughs> How Fairy close to him being dead does with he look? five HP, so... I'm <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm about to join them, so... <laughs> Okay, in that case, I'm going to attack with my scythe and do. Do, 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 do. Reap him, reap him, reap him. Yes, reap your soul. Yes, I'm going to attack. Here we go. Oh, that wasn't that one. So I guess I'm not going to do that. I try and attack him <laughs> with yep. my scythe. Uh, Ariana, death save, please, with advantage. Hold on, hold on, I'm not done, I'm just oh, me. Okay, 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 okay. and then I want to, I'm going to healing word somebody. I don't know who. Hopefully someone else who can heal. So I'm going to healing world Brilia, because she can heal people. Um, yes, okay. Although, however, the other boys also have failed death saves. Yeah, you can do heal wherever. I'm just reminding you I have healing left, because, you know, I normally run out by this point. I'm gonna, whatever. although I know Tabby has healing as well. A good amount still. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Tabby. I'm sorry because he's already failed a death save that and he looks fair. like he's about to die. That is fair. So I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna healing word Tabby for, uh, for six. <laughs> All right. Cool. I'm up to six. That's cool. Tabby rises. Uh, I'm also gonna mention to you guys this because we don't usually do them in turn orders. Koss is also unconscious. She's done nothing. How'd she pass out? She was fighting. Oh, she's outside. Why do you think really had a lovely realization earlier and did total the dead? <laughs> she's fine. She's fine. Uh, yeah, she's unconscious too. Uh, okay. Ariana. Save it up. With advantage. Yeah, save her. Uh, and it's Cade's turn again. Yay! Our best friend, Mr. Cade, right? Mm-hmm. Cade, he... I am not dead. Do not target me. Ooh, I'm not dead on the ground. He smirks as he looks between you all. He sees how uh, damaged you are. Uh, Tabby, he's going to hit you with three magic missiles. I'm sure. Seven. Uh, Verity, two are coming at you. Five exactly. Which I believe means you're stable. (laughs) I get to live the longest. And then he's going to use an entire volley of them at Lindor. 
Oh, that's pretty bad. Nope, that made up for it. 17. Well, sucked into you, buddy, because I'm not down yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he looks at you with this, like, furious anger. Like, he's like, I am so close to getting my victory. Like, and you can see in his eyes this, like, manic gleam. Um, but we have a slight interruption. Because, Ariana, you suddenly find yourself conscious again. Ooh. Not not healed, but, oh. but, you know, on the ground with... Uh, so you are prone, and you are looking up, and you see Lenore standing there, scythe ready, holding it against Cade, sort of... I imagine, like, sort of backing away in that, like, oh shit, I'm definitely gonna die, but, like, I'm going down fighting kind of look. <laughs> okay. Uh, and you feel, like, a, a burn in your eye. The eye that you uh, got a gift from Vecna in. Okay. And as you watch this scene play out, you see the world split into two realities. One in normal color, and one in and light purple. The one that's normal color, you see Cade step forward, dodge one of Lenore's attacks, and shoot the last few into her. You see your friends fallen and dead on the ground. You see a man who claims victory and revenge for his wife's death, and you see him marching on Karakat with an army of the undead. You see him making both of his sons bow to his power. You see the expansion of an empire, not led by someone who was who wanted legacy, but someone ruled by hatred and need to control. But that purple vision, you feel Vecna's power suggesting, tell, lets you know that you can finish this with just one well-placed word. One well-placed word? Or phrase. I'm being dramatic. Okay, at first I thought you said bird, and I'm like, bird? No. Nope. Okay. I have none. I have the no birds. birds. <laughs> the well placed birds. The ravens. Birds. <laughs> the Lenore, ravens. lend me a bird. So, um, Lenore, you're you back need a away. <laughs> you back away as Kate advances on you and you see Ariana stumble to her feet. What are you going to tell Kate to do? Hmm? Yeah. You have the power. If you want to, you can use the gift from Vecna and you can tell him to do whatever he wants. You can tell him to drop dead. You could tell him to go and give everyone one dollar. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up, uh, look at Cade, and say, "Wolves and zombies weren't the only friends that I've made along this path. I have another more powerful friend." And I think he wants you dead. So drop dead, dirtbag. Uh, Cade looks at you for a moment in confusion, and then he grips at his chest as if his heart has suddenly stopped. And he collapses, gasping for air, for breath, for something. Uh, and he stares at you with this look of just, like, disbelief that he has been bested. And he collapses onto the ground. Cade is now dead. But don't get excited, because something else happens too. The room begins to fill with a purple mist. It fills the space between your bodies and you feel yourself transported to somewhere new. And when you wake up next episode, we're going to see what the cost of that was. Congratulations! You made it to the finale! Hey. Ah! <laughs> but did we make it, though? You made it! Good made job, Ariana. The cost? The cost? The cost? Mm. Ooh, that means that means cost is in this purple mist, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, sick! As I want is, to see that uh, resolve. Oh, wow, well, I was just gonna banish her next week, but. <laughs> <laughs>
Congratulations, you guys killed, uh, you've now killed both of, um, our son's parents. Whoa, 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 what's this we? Ariana, Ariana has gone from the step stool to <laughs> the evil eye. Whoa, 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 what is this? Gravity and, gravity. um, and Vecna? <laughs> I mean, yeah. The Unfair. gravity of that is pretty heavy, though. <laughs> Also, I failed wow. my next death save, just so you know. On the plus sides, they're now both in the shadow fell on their little piles of bones, and they might be, you know, having fun. <laughs> well, I, I kind of think that Cade might be with uh, with Vecna. That soul might be contained. I know. I was hoping oh. not. I was trying not to think about that. Now, well, now you think Vecna's trying to steal a soul from the Raven Queen from her own temple? Yeah. That's rude. Desecrated. It was desecrated, you said. So, it was desecrated. You're right. But it's still really rude. It's a Vecna. <laughs> it's Vecna. XOXO Vecna. Vecna. <laughs> Not gonna lie, for the end of this episode, I was definitely like, should I get the Gossip Girl thing and just go XOXO Vecna at the end? You should say <laughs> Space Cowboy. It's like... Yeah, see you next time, Space, uh, ska Space Cowboys. Space Cowboys. Oh. See you next time, Maurice. What? Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. See you next wow. time, Steve Miller. Good job, guys. Are we still level 10? Uh, no. Let's give you 11. Well, Let's give you 11. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Yes. I am a generous god. Thank you. <laughs> Oof. I okay, have three spell true. slots now, guys. Yeah, I'm wondering. Rest. I'm wondering if this will uh, count as a long rest. <laughs> if I was to roll, I all mean, my... death is the longest rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I was rolling my death saves okay. right now, I'd have even with advantage would have just died. So that would have been fun. If we were, still... oh, I wouldn't have. I would have ailed you guys mm -hmm. because I was not gonna die. <laughs> I wasn't close to dying. I still, but I also was keeping a Revivify. I still had spell slots for Revivify. So Smart. Nice, nice. If we lost right. anyone, um, we were okay. Which well, is why I was a little dingier with my heals. Because I, I was like, uh, well, if I keep healing you, you're going to just keep dying. <laughs> I will say that um, next uh, game, you guys will still have your lowered XP, or HP, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, you're in Vecna's realm, so uh, your HP is not going to be the thing that counts next time. That's not ominous at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys got some good mental fortitudes, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I have not. <laughs> What? No, I yeah. don't. I, 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 just... do, I do not have mental fortitude. <laughs> I need to take a quick four-hour trance, you guys. <laughs> I'm so tired, you guys. So tired. At least take a so short tired. rest. I'm going to take a nap. So I'm going to take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> I put this in the, into the, in the chat, but we're all going to wake up in a cart going down a cobblestone road, and we're going to hear the words, <laughs> Hey, finally, you're awake. <laughs> about time when do we fight all the when do when do we fight all the uh, i mean there's only one more episode of the season so <laughs> i cast a charm monster <laughs> no one has seduced the dragon yet i'm very upset I'm, with you bad I'm party we have all I'm... high charisma we haven't done that I'm not into the seducing game. I'm more into the let's be friends game, and then I have a big army of friends. You're more into the, like, I'm going to pretend not to get it when mm -hmm. Ariana's sister is aggressively hitting on me. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I am perfectly averagely charismatic. People feel indifferent towards me. <laughs> they is that neither ten? hate nor love me, yeah. That's better. Isn't 10, like, the average commoner? Yes. Yeah. But a commoner's very charismatic. No. <laughs> no. Enough. Have you ever bought, like, average. a soup from an inn? Come on, they're jerks. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> guess who has six level spells now? Oh, does that mean... <gasps> some of you get some new abilities. So, um, yeah, let's, let's call it there for tonight. But uh, you guys will start season two with some tasty new treats. Two? Three. Or oh, maybe we're looping. I don't know. Maybe it's a looper if, game. I don't know. Imagine we could start back season uh, season two, knowing everything we know, with our current like power levels. 
Isn't that the dream? Ooh, to that is the dream. But stronger That's a game. Game. What was that game called? So many games, but That's the one I'm of, thinking of. Kind of the game I've been playing on stream Wednesdays before our stream called Rogue Legacy. Ooh. Ooh. Check it out. <laughs> the one I'm thinking of is on PlayStation 2, and I'm going to research I'm it. Splitters? I don't think, no. All right, well, let's figure it out while we do our extra outro. So, as always, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. You can join the Darkness and Dragons community by following us here on Twitch. We're also on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and wherever you get your podcasts. If you want to find more of me, I am at Feminist Gamer. Uh, and that's that's all you need to know about me. Laura, where can people find more of you? Everything is at Dark Moon Dice. Yep. And you can find me on Instagram at Luna underscore Moon underscore C. You can find me at Notes for Views, as well as the podcast of Quid Prog Quo, where I have a special episode coming out tomorrow. It's a spooktacular one. Ooh. Spooky. Yeah. Oh, wait. Or boo. Ooh. <laughs> you, you can find me right here, um, or at Fortune Favors, or playing Shadow of Memories, which was the PlayStation 2 game. Oh. Shadow mm-hmm. of Memories. There you go. And if you want to find me, find me anywhere using the Shrykul tag. Uh, I made a recent Twitter uh, using that exact handle to announce whenever I'm streaming. Uh, every Monday, if you want to find me on Twitch, I'll be streaming Pokemon Yellow and then the next progressing games in the generations. Uh, or if you want to follow my uh, regular old Twitter, it's just at Ian Paraskis. Beautiful. It. So, everybody, thank you again for joining us. We hope you have a great night, and we hope to see you next week for the season finale of Season 2. Ian, sing us out. I don't have a song. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, oh, uh, gimme, gimme, gimme that vampire ooh. money. Come on. Oh. I'll throw a sweet old bass look in there. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Bad Seinfeld? Seinfeld?